now. I've got to get my worms fed and taken care of because we're fixing to fly out to Hawaii for 14 days. So anyway, here is what I got to do now. Okay. When I'm over, be gone for a day or two or three, I always prep my worms real careful. There's, there's, there's ways to do it. How I do it, people, is this. Okay, number one, dry corn. Dry corn is what everybody knows. Crack corn is extremely hard, okay? You take it, ooh, look at the worms. Look at the worms. Hmm. You take that dry corn and you dig your little hole, get the worms out, we don't kill them. Now here's the fun part. You throw a little dry corn in there. They can't eat that. They can eat this. This is frozen, kind of hard to work one-handed. This is frozen cucumbers out of my garden. I freeze them whole, just like you see it. Take that frozen cucumber and lay it right down on top of that corn. Now, anybody that raises worms knows that once, <clears throat> once you put the cucumbers and vegetables in there, it makes your bed moist, damp. That'll turn to moisture. That'll the corn will soak the moisture up. The worms will be eating for the next two weeks. Happy as bugs in a rug. And it does not overwet my worm bin. Notice this worm bin's only about, I'm guessing, three and a half, four inches deep. There's a reason for that. You don't need five foot. Red worms, red wrigglers, are compost worms. They eat shallow, real shallow. <clears throat> Cover it up. Now, those worms have a feast going. Now, <clears throat> I always keep my cardboard on top of my worm bin. Okay? Oh, Lord, I messed it. Now, see? I just messed up one of my dead gum nitwick traps. If you'll notice, well, it's full of dead nitwigs. There's hundreds of them in there. There's my little trap. I just tore it out of the ground. There's another one. There's another one. And there's three on the other side. What this does, you put a little bit of pine, uh, oh, cooking oil. Put a little cooking oil in there. And what happens is, the nitwigs go to it and when they do, bingo, you got them. They'll get out in there and can't get out and they'll drown. But I'm in a hurry, so that's why I'm trying to do this. Now, is, is that cucumber defrost, it'll get mushy. And then the corn starts soaking the moisture. And then the worms come after it and they go crazy, they love it. Uh, there's another trick I do when I'm in, uh, sometimes. I'm not gonna do it this morning because I don't like to put too much of that in there. Now, a friend of mine bought a bunch of this stuff. All right, what happened was it, it got uh, outdated, so he called me and said, would your worms eat it? And I said, oh yeah, they'll eat it. So he gave it to me. And what I'll do is take a little cup full of that and every once in a while and just throw it across the top, the top of the bin. And the worms just have a field day. This is some of the best red wigglers. Population wise, that I've ever raised. They're working good, looking good. 